Hey folks, welcome back to Leaf Green vs. Blue. We are here in Vermilion City, and we're actually starting off today by adding one more team member to our party. Um, I know we added two last time, but one more, and it is a drowsy. Now I wanted to show um, off some sort of psychic type on my team for this series, um, because psychic types are kinda crazy overpowered in Generation 1. Um, the type chart is such that they're only weak to bug, and bug sucks in first gen. Um, plus, it's a special oriented type in the special merged stat universe. Um, so a lot of the psychic types that you'll have, Drowsy, Abra, Mewtwo, and their evolutions and whatnot, um, if applicable, will be pretty strong both offensively and defensively, and that's the case for Drowsy. Um, Drowsy has a base special stat of 90 in first gen. Um, in third gen, it gets split up, and that bulk of that special stat goes over towards special defense, um, and his offensive capabilities are reduced somewhat, and he turns into something of a tank. Um, and I wanted to choose Drowsy 1 because I wouldn't have to trade in order to get his final evolution like I would the Aberline. And the Aberline is just a little bit too, uh, too mainstream for me, so Drowsy it is. Hashtag Drowsy Love. Now what's nice about Drowsy in 3rd gen is that it actually gets confusion 6 levels earlier than it does in 1st gen, which means that the wild Drowsy that you can catch on this route come with confusion to begin with, whereas in uh, red, blue, and yellow you need to train it up a little bit. Overall, Drowsy gets moves earlier in 3rd gen than in 1st gen, so you get headbutt earlier, you get poison gas earlier. Um, it's pretty great. Pretty great. Um, and also in third gen, it gets the Insomnia ability, which prevents sleep, which makes Pokemon Stadium non-canon, obviously. I don't know what they were thinking there. Gonna have to revise all my fan theories. Um, so now we're here on the SSN, and we have another rival battle. And on the whole, it has only very slight tweaks and advancements from the pre previous battle. It's like each Pokemon has a couple levels difference, um, but basically everyone except Pidgeotto is drastically changed because of those few levels. Pidgeotto's the freaking same. It's a couple levels higher. It's level 19 in both versions now, um, so that weird imbalance is now no longer present. Um, but it's got the same moves, same ability, same typing, it's exactly the same. Um, and that's probably going to be easier this time because you have gained more levels than he has, assuming that you've, like, gone through the routes that, that the game intends you to go through. You've gone through Nugget Bridge, you've gone over to Bill, you've gone down Vermilion, and you've gone the SSN. Even if you skip a bunch, it's not going to be significantly harder. Anyway, his second Pokemon is his Eradicate. It is evolved from Rattata. Only gained a level, but that one level, when coupled with an evolution, um, causes a significant difference in stats, primarily its attack stat. Um, it will hit harder, and it will take more hits from you. Also notable, although it didn't really come into play here, is that Raticate in third gen now has Hyper Fang that super dangerous move that you should be afraid of. Um, and a reminder, Hyper Fang's strong move, it's evolved, he is stronger now, it could cause some damage. Maybe bring someone with good defense, or just throw some glass cannons at it, you know, that works too. Now you'll notice I'm using slightly different strategies against Raticate between the two versions. I'm using a slightly different choice in Pokemon. I don't think there's a reason for that. I, I'm. It doesn't matter who I use against him, really. 
Um, I don't think I was paying attention to my Pokemon's relative defense stats. It was just, you know, I don't have any super effective moves against him. He doesn't have any against me. It's really just about dishing out damage. If you have a fighting type move by this point, like a double kick on a Nidoran or something, that'll work, but he's a normal type. Route 1 normal. Now here's the Pokemon I thought would be the most dangerous. This is Kadabra. Um, he's evolved his Abra, and now not only can it inflict damage, it has a base special attack of 120. That is a really high special attack stat. That is... That is the same special attack stat as Arceus. Arceus, sorry. Uh, and he's also pretty fast to boot. The problem is that he didn't attack. And I'm not sure why. And yet here in first gen, still has 120 base special. Covering both special attack and special defense. Which means that your special attacks are not going to cause much damage. And you gotta use physical like I did there to one-shot it. So... Really disappointing show by Kadabra. Try to do better next time. And also, Ducks getting Swords Dance. Swords Dance is going to make everything amazing. Swords Dance increases your attack stages two levels. And that's going to cause a lot of damage. Swords Dance plus Stab. It's good shit. And finally, Charmeleon. He's evolved his starter as well. Um... He's got a couple attack boosts, stats overall have gone up, um, but not, not in any particularly scary way, I would say. His attack went from 52 to 64, defense went from 43 to 58, his special attack in 3rd gen went from 60 to 80, special defense from 50 to 65, his special in gen 1 went from 50 to 65, um, so he overall got a special attack boost, but he's more dangerous in 3rd gen because his special attack is 80 rather than 65. It's not an obscenely high number like Kadabra is, but, you know, it's, you know, it's higher. It's about what you would expect from an evolution. Um, his moveset isn't super different. In 3rd gen, he has a smokescreen, which lowers accuracy, um, but you've been dealing with things like sand attack um, for a long time now from Pidgeys and stuff. Um, so you know how to deal with it, you know, to switch out to a different Pokémon or something. Um, if you have a faint attack, um, on your Pokémon, uh, at this point, that'll, that'll bypass Smokescreen, but otherwise, you know, just power through it. That's what I usually do. Um, brought out Katrina, um, in both versions, because I'm the weirdo who puts water moves on my Meowth. Um... Not working super well, that super effective right there. A little disappointing, but it's it's uh, it's working, it's just a little slow. I've just never found this fight particularly difficult. You have a lot of time to level up between the previous rival fight and this one, um, and he doesn't improve nearly as much as you do. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.